Hormones are not magic. I'm sorry to break the news, trans girls. I'm not going to name drop, but every single trans woman I've ever looked up to, every single one, has had plastic surgery. Period. That image that we have of how we're supposed to look like and what our community glorifies is the doll aesthetic, which looks basically like Coke bottle hourglass shape. For most trans women, that is not achievable through just hormones. Hormones don't do what a lot of people advertise they do. I want to make a quick disclaimer that genetics is a huge factor and everyone's experience is different. If you have a rare intersex condition or if you start hormones very early, you may experience amazing results from hormones. This is not medical advice. Ask your doctor about everything. This is just a video about my community and our expectations and how they don't align. What are the problems with hormones that most trans women will not see results with? Number one are your hips. Your hips will not dramatically widen and you won't look like an hourglass shape. Obviously, the disclaimers apply to this whole video, so don't come and argue with me in the comments. But for most trans women, you will not have really wide hips and a really narrow waist. As you gain weight, your waist will continue to be wide and your hips will, yes, get bigger, but you won't have that hourglass shape. So some trans women like to keep their waist more on the narrow side and get a BBL or some implants or wear hip pads to make that appearance look more feminine. So a lot of trans women do not dramatically grow in the hip department and also your the way that your body shaped is slightly different your hips mainly are built towards the back butt gets bigger but you still have those hip dips that's why a lot of trans women aren't satisfied with their hormone results is because their hips will not really be affected the second thing is chest development so for most trans women they struggle with going up more than three cup sizes I'd say through hormones, and yes, some people have double D, triple D from hormones, yes, but a lot of them, the shape is literally so different. It looks more like a cone, they're more wide set. So the common issues that we suffer with are wide set breasts and um, cone shaped breasts. I've heard that progesterone can help with um, the cone shape if you take that along with your hormones. Obviously, ask your doctor. So typically, transgender women have more wide set chest. That means you don't have them close together and have that line of cleavage. Um, even dolls with implants, they tend to be more wide set. So when you get implants, you want them to be wider in um, width if you have the wider rib cage. Um, and that's very important so that they can sit more close together and they're not just spilling out the sides. A lot of trans women struggle with their chest growth and then they're not satisfied with the way it looks. So they need to get some sort of implant to make it look more round and more aesthetically pleasing. Um, but some people do have great experience, but like the truth is they are more wide set. A lot of people have cone shaped breasts. You know, people don't want to talk about it. The other thing is weight gain. When you gain weight on hormones, you are not going to gain weight like a hourglass shape. You're not going to gain weight in the same way the cisgender woman does, but it will be in a more stereotypically female shape. Yes. But also extra pounds will go towards your waist and your stomach, which some cisgender women also have that shape as well, so don't feel bad about it. But if you're trying to get the hourglass shape, then keep that in mind and just be observant. Always take your measurements every few months and see what things are going on. Another thing is your face. I don't think that the face really changes that much on hormones. Yes, you may have a little bit more fuller cheeks and more of a little facial fat, but it's more subtle. It's not like a dramatic, like you had FFS on your face just from hormones. No. That's not what's going to happen. And a lot of people, if you look at people's transition videos, they'll put a picture of them with no makeup, a full beard, and short hair before. And then after they shave their beard, they're wearing a full face of makeup, and they're wearing long hair. So it, it doesn't really make a huge difference in terms of the way your face looks. Over years, yes, it can soften out your features, especially if you gain some weight. But it doesn't make like a dramatic change. Now, if if you start hormones before like puberty, of course, that will make sure that those masculine features
signatures don't come through as strongly. That is an exception. But in terms of like changing the way that your face looks, hormones aren't going to do that. It can only change the fat distribution, not the actual bone structure. Another thing is your facial hair and your voice. So your facial hair is not improved by hormones. It's scientifically proven. Yes, people argue with me, but literally, and that's what the doctors say. It is literally science. Your voice is not improved from hormones either. It stops you from where you're at. So when you start hormones, your voice will not lower if your hormones are correct in the dosage. And your facial hair will stop getting worse. So if you are like, let's say 50% beard growth. If you're not on hormones, with time you'll get to 100%. If you start hormones, you'll stay at 50% forever until you get the laser hair removal. And then that 50% is gotten rid of. So it doesn't completely eliminate your facial hair or raise your voice. And whoever says different, that's a psychological effect or they've trained their voice, but it doesn't affect it. Whereas if you're looking at female to male transgender people, the changes that they experience are way bigger. You know, they their voice lowers, they have hair all over their body, um, their facial hair, they start balding sometimes. So like those are really dramatic changes. For trans women, it's not like as dramatic. You know, you do have some chest development, but you know, and your body hair can soften, you know, that's that's a result, but it's not like dramatic because you have to think testosterone is very strong and it has a very strong effect on your body. So it's really hard to actually reverse that. That's why we have to get laser electrolysis and things like that. Um, and uh, obviously, if you're extremely muscular, then it will degrade your muscles and you'll have a more feminine shape with time, of course. But I, a lot of trans women aren't necessarily in that category. Um, what hormones actually do is they soften your body. They, um, you know, they make your fat distribution different. You know, you will grow in the chest region and, you know, but it, it doesn't make this dramatic like Barbie doll effect like everyone wants it to. So it's better if you have this knowledge ahead of time than have unrealistic expectations and you want to gain a lot of weight, for example, to look a certain way. And then you realize, oh, my body fat doesn't store like I thought it would. Then you have to lose the weight. Um, and all body sizes are beautiful. But like I'm just saying, in order to achieve that image that is put towards our community, we have to have a little bit of self-awareness. If you think five years ago, if you looked for trans women, celebrities, people that we looked up to, every single one of them had plastic surgery. They did not have a natural body. 99% of trans women we have looked up to all have physically altered bodies, even the ones who are very thin. And the ways that they've altered their body are through breast implants, silicone pumping, BBL, and these are the superstars we look up to. Um, even the really thin superstars that are in our community have gotten pump and breast implants to enhance their looks. Nowadays, with the people that we see on TikTok, there's a more prevalence of people who started hormones early, who have their representation on TikTok. And also there's a larger representation of what a natural bodied trans woman would look like without plastic surgery. But that isn't as glorified by our community. So you can still pass with what hormones give you, but you are not going to look like this BBL doll aesthetic that has been presented to us year after year after year. What our community glorifies, that is not what you're going to achieve. But I will say there are exceptions. There are trans women who are naturally very curvy. They have amazing body um, you know, I see some with amazing chest development and it looks, you know, almost like implants, but th that is less common, you know? Um, and, um, and in my opinion, with just hormones, you can pass as cisgender. Yes, you can. Your body can look womanly and female. There are some females with the same shape as, uh, the way that we develop. But what I'm saying is this Barbie doll, plastic, blow up doll look that, is very popularized in our community. Even for the skinny dolls, they still are in proportion. Man, they're in proportion. Yes, they are. Because they got their hips pumped. Um, and I'm not endorsing anything like that. But they still 
adhere to those standards because they post on social media, you know, they're public figures, so their body image matters a lot. So, you know, I'm just saying that look is highly statistically unreachable for a lot of us just with hormones. And like the biggest change that hormones make is mental. You are going to feel a lot of mental changes. And it's really good. When I started hormones before, I was feeling always angry and upset because I didn't feel like my body and my brain were working with what I actually wanted. They were working against me. I couldn't contain my um, upsetness on how I couldn't even cry when I wanted to. I could never express my feelings. And when I got on hormones, I just relaxed. My um, brain felt like connected and all of that upsetness that I had diminished. And, um, you know, obviously that is what's most important is to have your brain feel good. And eventually your body will look better and you'll feel better with it. And, you know, some trans women are satisfied and happy with the natural looks that they achieve through hormones. But I just need to make this video so you guys understand that all of the trans icons that we look up to, um, especially the ones, you know, five years ago that were popular before TikTok and all of that, they've all had work done. All of the people I looked up to body-wise, physically-wise, have had plastic surgery. Even the ones who I'm like, oh, they didn't even get pumped. They, you know, they look skinny. They look great. Their body still looks good. That gives me encouragement to be natural because they are giving the thin, you know, athletic look and they still got pumped and just didn't tell us. So, you know, it, it, it all turns out that every single person I looked up to had plastic surgery. And that's fine. But I'm making this video just to educate you guys so that you don't like feel like why is their body changing and mine isn't why are they getting all these results from hormones because it's not going to do that for everyone for most people um and it's okay to be satisfied with your body how it naturally develops and it's also okay to be unsatisfied and that's why on my page I teach you how to dress for your body type especially on my tiktok because that is the power that you need is to know how to dress for your body type if you have narrow hips, if you have larger shoulders. These things you can't change unless you get the funds to change them, really. And, um, or if you have the privilege to start early enough. But for most trans women, it's not going to happen that way. Um, and there are very few I've seen, you know, that it happens. Um, and this isn't to say that... I'm suggesting you get plastic surgery or you need it. No, I'm just trying to increase our awareness on what's realistic with hormones and what isn't. And so many people on the internet dramatize how hormones instantly feminize you overnight. That is not the truth. They take a very long time to work for most people. And um, you will not be able to reach these unrealistic societal expectations that our community has set forward just with hormones. So I'm making this video to actually make yourself feel better that um, with just hormones, you won't be able to achieve these crazy expectations our community has about what we're supposed to look like. I understand how this message can be taken in the wrong way and be used with ill intent, um, trying to invalidate trans women. Um, it, it changes us completely chemically. Yes, it does. In terms of our blood chemistry, it's 100% female. Our muscle mass reduces significantly. We get weaker. So I'm not invalidating that hormones are effective. No, I'm educating my community that you are not going to look like a blow-up doll or a plastic, you know, surge down queen just with hormones. That's not going to happen. Um, and, you know, also I see a lot of delusional trans women and no hate, no shade. There's delusional trans women on TikTok who think that their body's giving. They think their body's tea. Your body is giving natural and that's fine. That's also cute. But don't, don't discredit me when I'm educating the dolls about what's realistic and what's not. And they're like, oh babe, I weighed it and my results, I'm like, you don't look the way you think you do. Okay. And um, I'm self-aware of how I look. Yes, I am. That's why I'm very specific on, you know, how I dress and things like that. You know, I know how to look good. 
and work with my circumstances. But it's like, there's some people who are unself-aware. They think that hormones are just magic in a bottle and they really aren't. And for some girls, yes, it is. I've seen it work. But for people who came for me, no, sorry, no. We really need to step into an era of like self-acceptance, self-understanding. And it's like, it's good to see more natural trans women on TikTok and have representation. But just understand that's not the history of our community. That's not the majority of our community who have representation. Okay, that is a large majority of our community who are underprivileged. Yes. But the large majority who have media representation, who we look up to, they have plastic surgery. And I'm making this video just to inform you that, that hormones didn't do all that magic work for these trans people you've looked up to for years. And um, this isn't to make you feel bad. It's just to make you self-aware. Because I did not know when I first transitioned. Because a lot of the girls don't talk about the secret surgeries they have done. Because they want to be the hottest, or they don't want to condone plastic surgery, or they want to gatekeep only to their closest friends. And I don't hate on any of those things. But I'm making this video to let you know that every single person I looked up to when I first started my transition had their body done in some way. And um, I want you guys to be positive and always leave me a comment. Reach out to me on TikTok comments. You know, leave me comments. I will get back to you. I'm making videos to help you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, I hope this video is helpful and um, don't get mad at it. It's a positive message and people need to hear it. So make sure you're following me on all social medias and I'm really active on TikTok. I'd love to see you guys there. Follow me on Instagram. And as always, remember that you are majestic. Bye, guys.